I told you Hyperion some bitches want back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I promise. That's our ride. Like hell, man. I know the woman that dropped this van off and you sure as crap ain't them. Well, okay, not our ride, but... Being Hyperion was your strike one, man. Now you're lying to me in my garage. That's like four or five more strikes right there. Are you guys trying to steal our van again? Ha! I knew it! Oh my god, can you please explain to this guy that we're friends? No way these girls are associated with no Hyperion D-bags! Oh, okay, come on. We're not douchebags. Friends is a little much. I'd call it what it is. Which is? A temporary alliance. Well, that really hits the heart. I appreciate that, Fiona. These are my temporary allies. Can I get in the damn van, please? All right, well, if you say they're with you, I guess I can believe that, man. But if you ladies get into trouble, you just call, all right? Or, you know, you don't have to be in trouble to call, man. If you just want to chit-chat or you find a restaurant you really like or, you know, wait, but, but the trouble thing, that's you, that's you. Scooter, you are awesome. This is incredible. You do amazing work. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Be sure to stop up at any of my catcher rides if you need anything. I got them popping up all over Pandora. Bandits. Bandits. Uh, they haven't lived here for years. The Crimson Lance massacred them. Some say their corpses still roam the streets seeking vengeance. Sasha. Not to be a downer, but I'm not seeing any Atlas facility. I'm mostly seeing... Dry trash. Would it be so hard for just once something to go according to plan? Enough of this standing around crap. Let's get moving. Wow, guys. I mean, wow. Just uh, stunning. Picturesque. Vaughn, are you seeing this? Someone get a picture of me with the pile of garbage. No, no, no. The other pile of garbage. Hey, easy there, Mr. Tiny Business Cards. Sorry, sorry. Uh-huh. Let's just find this facility, okay? Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Pretty sure I can figure this out. something. Hey guys, guys, come check this out. It's like the whole grid leads right to here. I mean, with all these power lines everywhere, they've, they've got to be connected to something, right? Couldn't have left me a ladder, could you? Typical Atlas.
we're on to something. Hey, that sounds good, right? Good sound? You keep hacking. I'll go check on Loderbot. guys. Hey. That's a nice sock. Oh, really? I mean, because, you know, a, a good pair of socks is an often overlooked detail of a gentleman's wardrobe. I'll try and remember that. Yeah, so... You want your boot back? I would love my boot back, yes. Don't say I never gave you anything. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. So, what did happen back there with, um, you know, the... Why do you ask? No. Oh, sorry, it's, it's... It's none of my business. He got greedy. That's all there is to it. Any ideas about how to get in? No, oh, I thought you Hyperians had an answer for everything. Cool. Thanks for the help. Don't mention it. I won't. Like, ever. I literally won't ever mention it. Ever. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna get back to it. We'll be here. And another one. Oh, couldn't have left me a ladder, could you? Typical Atlas. Grounds different between here and here. this okay 
Okay, let's see what that does. Ew, gross. the whole time and that must be our facility underground hidden doors <laughs> atlas man so what's next well clearly we go in whoa whoa easy watch where you point that thing all right everyone here's the plan the key to this is stealth we stay low to the ground we don't I wish you guys would stop doing that Like we're in the right place. Well, that's ominous. This is a massacre. Crimson Lance, these guys are serious badasses. Watch your step. Whole place could be booby trapped. If this place is as valuable as we think it is, they might be trying to protect it. What the hell did this? Not what? Who? This is Athena's handiwork. Starting to think we might have just gotten lucky with her back there. Whoa. My favorite Hyperion mystery man. Peace and fun, new little playmates, right? It's very good to meet the two of you. It's a shame we couldn't be meeting under different circumstances. Vaughn, Reese, 
You didn't think I'd have August handle in all my dirty work, did you? There are some things a man just does himself. Oh, for love. Motorbot, attack! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, huh. Come on, guys. You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? The Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. What'd you think, Reese? That you could pilfer something from my toy box, no strings attached? You never could follow through. That's your problem. And that's why I beat you every time. Hugo, listen to me. Fiona, Sasha, even Vaughn, this isn't their fault. This all comes back to you and me. I stole the money. I stole your deal. Everything that's happened up till this point is about me trying to screw you. So let's just, you and me, work it out. Work it out! Work it out! I'll work you over, you little asshole! Oh, you guys would not believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Kiddo, I admire your consistency, but, uh... God. Oh, and who is this princess? Wait, they- I hear that! Son of a- Shock other people. Oh, yes. I knew about that. Um, don't touch the cores, August. Thanks for the heads up. <sighs> Jackass. They're gonna have to do it for us. You'll cooperate, right? Because I figure if you don't, well, I- I can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we're just gonna give this Gordas thing to two scumbags like you. <laughs> it's cute you think you have a choice. Two hallways, two halves. I'll, uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take Miss Fancy Hat down the other one. Boys, you keep an eye on these two. Especially this one. Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, you sit tight. Get your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Reese, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me, and that sort of thing doesn't happen often. I'm surprised you've made it this far. I got Hugo Vasquez, Hugo... There's, there's something I remember about this guy. What the hell really? is it? Really? It's unbelievable. He must have had some sort of help. Couple of death jockeys like you. I'd say it was 50-50 he'd survive the landing. Much less get as far as you have. Uh, My friends are out there. Okay, they're the reason. We actually... No, we actually make a good team. Oh, that's sweet. And now you're all gonna die together. <laughs> I guess so. Bummer. Just when you were making friends. I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part you'd be right, but there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person He's I've gonna ever say known. me. Handsome Jack. You idiots always say me. Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had the special report. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. No, still nothing. I punched my mom for Christ's sake. Just boom, right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. Sounds like a great man. He was. He was. I miss our time together. Ah, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on the tip of my But through me, his legacy carries on.
Why are you doing this? What do you mean? What do you get out of it? I mean, is it about the money? Revenge? This is all about damage control at this point. We cut my boss, Valerie, out of the first deal. Hmm. Obviously, that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons. The fact that the vault key was bullshit being first and foremost. Well, Valerie found out about it, so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the $10 million deal we tried to slip under her nose. Then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. She ever talk about me? What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. Just curious if she ever mentioned me. She thinks you're dangerous. Yeah, well, I am. So that's fine. Maybe that's something she likes about me. It's not. You killed a guy right in front of us. Don't you remember? Oh, right. Yeah, that was rash. You think? But listen, that guy? He was a bad guy. He's ripping my family off for years. Just stacking lies on top of lies until he couldn't remember what the truth was. And he had plenty of outs. He chose not to use them. Look, I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship. A father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your mettle, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh... <laughs> I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute! Wallet head! That's where Jack found <laughs> He used to be bald and he was going through these hair implants and, and, and I didn't, it would stick money to his head. It was, <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, but it was a long time ago. A ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> Go on. Go on, seriously. But that's ask a him. pretty big difference. Listen, uh, wallet head. W wallet head? <laughs> yeah, so... I appreciate the advice. I, I, I do. But I'd much rather you take your two cents and shove them into your wallet that you have on the back of your head that you are ashamed of because you are a wallet head. I... I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, that's good. Oh, when that's I take terrific. your corpse Thank back you up to Helios, I'm gonna make sure they save me some of your skin to make a wall out of. Whenever I see it, I'll remember the look on your face at this moment. Whoa. That's legitimately creepy. tell you how much I'm looking forward to getting back to Helios, Reese. This place, it's getting to me. It's the smell. No! Hey! Hey! I just, I just need some reassurances. That it was just about the money and nothing else. And relationships have to be built on trust. I don't know if I can take Sasha back without it. How do you even start a conversation like that? At this point, I assume she's just embarrassed. You two should just talk. Clear the air, see where it gets you. Yeah, we should do that. Well, here we are. Go on, stalling won't do you any good. Stalling? Whoa. Hey, what is this? No. No, 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 no!
nice chat? <laughs> I can't imagine he's too happy with you guys. I, I, at least that's the vibe I was getting. I hate that son of a bitch. I kind of picked up on that. Gortis unit ready for assembly. We got it! We got it! I guess that's our cue. gonna get us into a vault. Hmm. Maybe it's some sort of vault key. It doesn't look like any vault key I've seen. Oh please, the only vault key you've seen was the fake one you tried to sell me. This is true. Thing and let's go. No, 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 what are you doing? Warning, Gortis device compromised. Smooth one, idiot. Subsystems, man. I can hack into these drones and I can uh, almost guarantee no one dies. Unless you want them to. Probably. Uh, just let me in. I... Vaughn! It's under control, Reese. Trust me. What? No, no. Listen, we can take over the whole facility, kid. We got this. Whatever you're gonna do, Kate, do it. No, 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 no. You're making a huge mistake. forever. This is how you're saving us? You're just throwing things? No, I, I think it's supposed to explode. <laughs> 